Indeed. All right. We're also watching uh, shares of Darden Restaurants, ticker symbol DRI. Those shares are getting hit about 6% uh, here in the early going following an earnings beat for the second fiscal quarter as the company exceeded expectations on both the top and bottom lines, as well as raising its full year 2023 sales outlook. Brad, I think while you're seeing the sales, uh, the, the stock come under pressure here, this is historically a stock being that usually gets driven by its largest business segment, uh, and that is Olive Garden. And it had good same-store sales, but if you go down to the bottom of their earnings release, profits, operating profits for Olive Garden down about uh, – $15 million year over year. At the same time, sales were up. Of course, restaurants dealing with still high levels of inflation for food and workers. Uh, so market and unlikely uh, liking that call out. But I will say this, probably the one of the best deals in sit-down restaurants right now, Brad, is if you go to the Olive Garden website, yep. so you can get 16 shrimp as an add-on for your pasta for $5.29. That's a 33 cents a shrimp. To me, that's pretty good. Do and it's shrimp. That, do you think that's the freshest shrimp that you can get on the market? The website suggested it is. You think it's good for I'm you? I'm a believer on the website, and I'm a believer in Olive Garden. Okay. Well, it's a deal. That yeah. If there's anything we can classify it as, it is a deal. It's and 16 if there, shrimp, Brad. Well, it's the 33 it, cents each. You know what? Perhaps it's a it's a pre-recessionary hedge yeah. for a lot of households. And you look, the other options you get on the site, you can get three meatballs for about $5. I'm going for the shrimp, 16 shrimp. As long as they still have the unlimited salad and breadsticks, yes, I think do. that is key. And that is perhaps baked into my financial planning in the future, too. Um, also, looking at some of the other segment performance that we've been tracking, it's interesting also to take a look at Longhorn Steakhouse, particularly for me sometimes. because Good food. Good food, Good food, yes. But some of the growth that we see year over year with Longhorn Steakhouse and the profit that they're continuing to bring in, this is one of the biggest or the second largest area for them in terms of their Q2 segment profit. So Longhorn Steakhouse, don't sleep on them, the quality there. <laughs> don't Good. sleep. I, I can't get into the one by me on, on the weekend. It's by a movie theater. I know it's crowded. It's crowded. I'm trying to pull up the menu here on these steaks, but I don't think I'm going to get to it in time. But still, uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, very, very good. Well, you like to cook your own steak on your Traeger Grill anyway. On my Traeger Grill, yeah, right yeah. my one-bedroom co-op.